सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द रिएक्ट नेटिव कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द प्रॉप्स इन रिएक्ट नेटिव इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव टॉक अबाउट द स्टेट एंड वी हैव सीन द एग्जांपल एंड वी हैव सीन दैट व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्टेट एंड द वेरिएबल सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज प्रॉप्स इन रिएक्ट नेटिव सो इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज प्रॉप्स बेसिकली लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू प्रॉप्स मींस इट्स अ शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ प्रॉप्स स्टैंड फॉर passing data from one component to another component okay in react how does component look like component are in a hierarchy like one after another another and so on okay like parent children and the next children and so on okay now let's understand with this example let's suppose we have a we have a multiple component let's suppose i have a component let me create a component so how do we create a component in react native or react so we have to create a component like this const child basically a function a function is also a component in software form if it's returning or something a component okay let's create a component so i'm going to create a component called const child okay and i'm going to return some text i have gonna one view and inside view i have one one text i am child component okay now i want to render this child component on the ui so what we have to do i have to just dump like this right now we can see that i am child component on the ui perfect now i want to pass some data in the child component okay so how we can pass the child data in the child component we have to pass the parameter like i want to pass a name so we have to pass assign a variable okay and after that we have to assign the value so i want to pass this value with this keywords perfect now after that in the react in the child component we have to add props okay now if i console that console dot one for now and if i just do props so we can see we are getting one object which has a name and the value is a quarter okay so what we can see we are getting one object okay so what we have to do we have to do like this props dot name okay so if i do props of name so we can get the quarter right now in the react we have we can do like this if i want to say that i am child component i want to show that name in the child component so what we have to do basically i have to type like this, like this props dot name okay and i can see that i am child component coder perfect now let's suppose uh, in react or in javascript we have one more thing called destructuring so instead of writing a props again and again what we can do we have to just write a curly braces and whatever the parameter or whatever the key we are passing we have to just uh, you know write on that object okay so it will destructure that value and we can get that value basically in javascript if you read about destructuring and this is possible with the destruction and i'm just console the name so you can see what we are getting here and let me you know remove the this things perfect now you can see that we are getting a name as a coder okay so let's summarize what is props props stand for property okay whenever we have to pass data from one component to another component a parent to child we do props we pass the props okay now let's suppose i also want to pass a age property okay so i have to write age age is equal to 25 okay now i want to read this value in the child component so how we can read this we have to just add a comma and type age okay and if i add here uh, let me create another text component uh, my age is uh, this one okay so if i show you quickly so we can see that my age is 25 and this is how you know we are passing a data from child component and it's and it's just rendering on the we are passing the child data from parent component and we are just rendering on the child component okay now let's suppose if we update this value like coder to uh, something hey max so just uh, it just it reflect on the ui yes so let me click on press me 
so you can see that it's update the value and it's also update the child component value okay so this is all about the props so it could be like you know let's understand the what is the difference between so let me open the slide so we want what are the props so props are just like a function argument which we pass from function and we can read from the function uh, in much more simpler manner props are just like property which is used to pass data from one component to another component okay in, in an interview we people usually ask like what is props what is what is props really okay we will discuss about the props drilling in the later video example of props we have already seen that we have another we have a one parent component this is our parent component root app and we have a one child component where we are passing the data name and the age okay and we are just rendering that on the ui now a difference between props and instead so if you talk about what is the difference between props and instead so props uh, are immutable but instead are mutable like we can update the value of state like name is state and we are able to update the state of name but we cannot update this value of state okay and there's much more different about the props on state but that's enough for right now and props are used to pass the data from one component to another component but state are uh, to say state state store the some data on the store the some data so yeah i think that's all about the props and the state uh, props in the react native and please let me know if you guys have any question regarding this and let's uh, catch up on the next video styles and react native thank you bye